Okay guys, hi, welcome back again. This is another Spotlight. I'm Mitch, this is Crystal. We are doing the uh, third Force Awakens box this time. It is called the Cantina Box. Uh, I guess without further ado, we'll just start, right? Yep. Alright, so first, like always, we'll show you what it looks like. Like all the other ones, we get a character on it. For the Cantina Box, I believe this is Greedo, right? No, right? That's not Greedo. Yeah. I believe this is Greedo. Um, not 100% sure on that. Smuggler's Bounty, obviously. Once again, always remember, hand shot first in this box. I was going to make that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll start with the pin first. The, the just fell out, so if you want to All right, take um, it. So this packaging wasn't yeah, it packaged kinda, well. It kind of opened, yeah. So here we have, you know, the regular standard pin. But this one, uh, the class, this is Fiery. He plays the Kalu Horn. He's from the figurines and the module notes that George Lucas had made just for the cantina. You can see. Looks a little weird. So, so are, are you saying that this guy is the cantina band player? Yes. He so he's the, the guy who makes the song? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, right, next, we'll do the patch. Obviously, I'll show you guys once again. Oh, I will also like to add that in the other two boxes we got so far, they had this like little circle right here. Um, like a little spiky circle. We didn't really mention that because I, I thought they would all be the same. This one doesn't have it. This one just says, Behold, your share of Smuggler's Bounty. I don't know if you guys can do that yourself. There goes the pin again. All right. And for the patch for this one, which I think is really cool, it's a... Uh, it's Greedo. Uh, it, obviously, we all know the famous can scene, cantina scene where a uh, hand shot first. Um, it actually does also say right here, Moist Esley. And uh, right here is the actual, you know, what? cantina. Mo Moist Esley. Isley. 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 Sorry. My English is not as good when it comes to Star Moss Wars stuff. Moss Isley. Moss Isley it is. And it has a little Tatooine uh, cantina right there that we see from the outside. And it also has two sons, so we know it's Tatooine. <laughs> uh, all right, let's open this up. Shirt first. Yep. All right, so we'll talk about the shirt. The shirt was something really nice for this box, I thought, because you know there are two men in the galaxy that are <laughs> wanted for being high-level criminals, and uh, for the shirt, you actually get one of the wanted guys in Twelve Systems. Uh, obviously, everyone knows what happens to this guy. He gets his arm ripped off by, uh, <laughs> by Obi-Wan Kenobi in the cantina bar. Um, I thought this was a very nice touch. If you read it, it says, Wanted, cr criminal wanted, dead or alive. Shows his height, shows who he is. Uh, and it just gives you his name, Muf Muftar. And Muftak. A, Muftak, and apparently he's oh. wanted for burglary. They got his fingerprint right here. They got his uh, species, height, weight, eye color, this whole description of him right here. And it says, it's issued by the Galactic Empire, and you get the Empire symbol right here. That was something really nice for this box. Uh, it's a really unique shirt. <laughs> Definitely a unique shirt, actually. <laughs> um, I'll save my other comment for the end. And uh, we'll go through the pops as well. So we'll let you start with yours. Here we have the exclusive Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty with, he's actually also a bobble. It's Ben Kenobi with the blue lightsaber. And here we have all the pops that you can collect. These aren't that exclusive. You can, you can find them at Hot Topic, you know, all those little pop places or even on Amazon for a good price. Definitely check those out. It actually looks really cool. Also, one thing to add to the Ben Kenobi pop is he isn't Obi-Wan Kenobi. He actually is Ben Kenobi. This is straight out of the cantina, before we even knew he was Obi-Wan, mm -hmm. we knew him as Ben Kenobi. Um, so that was a very nice touch to add to this box for the cantina aspect of it. And of course, we have this guy, Red Stangletooth. Um, now, if you're unfamiliar with him, Obviously, you should be because you weren't born in the 70s and 80s when he existed. Um, one thing to say, 
one thing to say about Red Snaggletooth is apparently, because I had to Google this myself because I had no idea who the hell he was or why he was in this box. Um, apparently, this is like an inside joke for people who collect the Smuggler's Bounty. Um, originally, there was a toy set somewhere in the past, uh, the, the far past, you know, a long, long time ago in a galaxy far, far away type of past, um, where they had something called a Cantina playset. And the Cantina playset came with like all these random characters that were like bounty hunters and just other characters that we have never heard of before. And one of the characters' name was Snaggletooth. And what they did is they actually made a red and blue Snaggletooth for the uh, Cantina set of the Star Wars collection. So this is kind of like a, a, an homage to an inside joke. Obviously he does have the Snaggletooth if you look at him. He is a Star Wars exclusive. On the back, exactly the same as the other ones. Um, he has the same, he's part of that, he's pretty much part of that group set, um, if you are collecting all of the Star Wars Pops. Uh, other than that, I thought this was really nice. It's a good inside joke for those of you who get it, unlike me, who just Googled it. Um, and there is one last thing that was super exclusive in this box, and that's for you to do. This is, do you remember how the first, the, actually the second box we got the pop of uh, Chewbacca. This is the pop pen of Chewbacca. So I won't open it and test what color ink it is because it's an exclusive and this is not mine. This is. <laughs> but I think it's really cute and it has a little advertisement of Star Wars Smuggler's Bounty here. Twitter, Facebook. Definitely check those out. It has a little Star Wars logo here. Um, and it has a little pen cap which um doesn't look too secure. Definitely be careful if you do want to take this out. But this is really cute. I like it. Alright, so how do I feel about this box? Okay. <laughs> so I had to think about it for a second. Alright, so this is how I feel about this box. I believe it is the better box of the three we've seen so far. Um, I, I feel like it had a lot more... Uh, character to it in a sense where it wasn't just playing off the force awakens theme hype that the other two actually did play off of um that was one thing i will say about all these boxes that they're called the star wars the force awakens smugglers bounty they're not just called star wars smugglers bounty you know that they don't have anything to do with the force awakens but uh all of them are supposed to have some connection to the force awakens i thought when i originally saw this i thought they were talking about the cantina in the Force Awakens movie. I did not know that they would be talking about the cantina originally in Tatooine from episode 4. So I thought that was a very nice little touch to add to it. Um, things to mention, the shirt was not actually a pop shirt. Um, I, like I said, I was going to save a comment for later. Um, it was actually not a pop shirt at all. It was literally a character from the movie, Wanted. <laughs> so I thought that was a really different than what we get from the other, the other collector boxes so far. Um, the Pops both really nice. Uh, the Red Snaggletooth one obviously a fan favorite for all those people who get the reference and all the people who now get the reference to it. Um, I do like this box. I believe it had a lot more character going for it than the other two so far. Um, I feel like the boxes are starting to pick up a pace that they keep getting better. I guess because now they get their opinions from people and see what they should put in, what they shouldn't put in. Uh, my favorite thing from the box is probably the Ben Kenobi pop. I think it was fairly like well done with the lightsaber, his stance, and he just it just looks really good. Um, and I also like the pen because it's a little cute pen. <laughs> All right, that's it for us here. Uh, obviously, we've done three boxes. I believe the next unboxing is supposed to be the Civil War box. But it depends on uh, what we do with the Loot Crate versus box that's coming out next as well. Um, you'll be hearing from us again soon. If not us, Anthony, Steve, or Matt, or somebody. Uh, there's always people doing this every day. Alright, hopefully we hear from you guys again soon. Hopefully, oh, don't forget, leave your comments at the bottom. I didn't say that in the last two. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> so, leave your comments, concerns, questions at the bottom. Subscribe, blah, blah.